Hey guys, um, <clears throat> just wanted to kind of show you uh, what we'll be reviewing and what you guys need to review before your um, your test. You're going to have a, a quiz on um, on uh, Wednesday, May 1st. Uh, it will be on uh, the following. Um, I'm going to show you a couple things and then um, I'm just going to let you know about a couple things. So first of all, <clears throat> it'll be on Europe. You'll have to go back all the way to your physical geography of Europe. Um, if we buzz through it, um, you remember we already took the country test, so I'm not concerned um, about whether you know the countries or not. Um, but some of the main landforms here, obviously, um, you have uh, the rivers. Uh, don't worry it's essentially about the Baltic countries as being the plains area, but the Swiss Alps um, or just the Alps. Um, very important that you know the major mountain chain that runs through Europe. Uh, the climate, we've already went through. Eastern half, um, short rainy uh, summers and snowy winters. And then um, the south and west, especially we talked about the Mediterranean Sea. And they have very nice weather in southern Europe. Uh, with western Europe, um, the Iberian Peninsula, I'm not real worried about the, um, the actual regions. And then like the uh, physical features of Western Europe, uh, like the Great European Plain, the Central Uplands, and really it's um, the Alps, the Alpine Mountains that I want you to worry about. Um, so that's one that um, uh, we talked about. Then we had some of the lessons on European history. Um, I, I'm not necessarily going in order, uh, but uh, um, you know, you can, you can go in order however you want to study. So the fall of Rome, um, we talked quite a bit about Rome, and I'm going to show you the, the project thing here in a second that we've already done. Um, please go through uh, why the Dark Ages um, came about. Well, it was the fall of Rome. Um, and then uh, the feudal system, if you remember, you don't have to know the whole chart, but the king is at the top, and then the peasants are on the bottom. You don't um, necessarily have to know the... Um, all the steps to being a peasant. Um, we talked about um, what was in the background on this picture. Um, and then life in the Middle Ages was very rough. That um, little medical knowledge was tough. All the tasks you did were manual and life was usually shorter. Life in the Middle Ages, um, just know that most people during the Middle Ages were serfs. They were, um, they were, um, they were people that, uh, that um, uh, were you know, they, they were very poor. And then the end of the Middle Ages, remember when the Middle Ages ended really was when the Renaissance started. And give or take, you know, around, um, you know, that 1300s, uh, especially really one of the big markings is when this guy here, the printing press, um, was invented. So uh, the next thing I wanted to go over, we'll go into um, the Rome project here. And we had, uh, you had to pick a job um, and you had to share um, your experiences, you know, according to that job. Um, make sure you review some of, of what you did, your 10 questions um, for your Rome project. Um, if we go into uh, other things, let's see if I can grab it here. Oh, I might have to search for it. Uh, other notes, uh, we talked about the Renaissance, this guy was Le um, um, Leonardo da Vinci, and um, beginnings, the great man theory, black plague theory, and the ever man theory. Um, focus on a lot of this, we talked a lot about it, um, so it will be emphasized on the test. Um, and then the ways of thinking, humanism, remember, humanism and individualism, remember we had the, remember we had the discussion on uh, the value of human life and how it was important and people wanted to get, um, it resulted in people getting an education. Um, and then some Renaissance men, uh, the scientists, uh, remember some of the names, Sir Isaac Newton, remember three laws, uh, I have law of gravity down. Probably the most important guy in, in this era was Leonardo da Vinci, painted a couple things um, and invented um, a lot of different things. And then Jonas Gutenberg invented the printing press, remember, what it allowed people to do was read uh, the basically the Bible in everyday language or vernacular. 
And then uh, artist, I have Michelangelo. Uh, then the politics, Magna Carta. Remember, the Magna Carta was a doc, one of the first documents that took rights away from kings. The Glorious Revolution strengthened the power of the people over the king. Remember, the king said his power uh, came down from God. People said, no, it didn't. And the people wins, went out. The power comes from the people and not from God. And then John Locke, the reason he's in there is because he a lot of ideas in our Constitution today come from John Locke. Next here. Um, these are some notes we'll go, we haven't went over, um, but we're going to go over uh, today. Let's see if I can find the right one. Um, we will also go over, um, we'll go over some of these notes, um, or some notes on World War II also. Um, for the uh, 7A, uh, we are going to go over them today. 7B, you will go over them on Friday, uh, Friday the 26th, and you will go over them by yourself. Um, we will also have some World War II notes that I don't have organized yet, um, but we've already taken some things on World War II, so should, should, we should have a pretty good background knowledge. Anyway, um, the notes on World War I that we'll take today with 7A, tomorrow with 7B, um, World War I is a, is a different war than World War II. Um, it started in Europe. The United States didn't get involved till late. Uh, uh, it started It started with, uh, the whole war started with uh, the assassination of Franz Ferdinand and his wife. Um, and it was this, uh, the, really the catalyst, as it says in the notes here, for starting the war. The, one of the reasonings behind it. Um, and you can see after the assassination, it kind of led to it. Um, if we go to, here are your different powers. Very, very similar to uh, the powers in World War II. The Allies are very similar. Um, the central powers are a little bit different because you have a country or an empire called the Ottoman Empire. This breaks up after World War I, and then Bulgaria is in there too. Um, if we go... Uh, down, we are not going to, um, we'll, we'll skip around some of these notes, um, to the reason the United States got involved in the war. Um, it was the sinking of Lusitania. Uh, the U German U-boats attacked a um, United States passenger ship, and once it was sunk, the United States declared war on Germany. It, um, it didn't happen until 1917, where the United States was involved in the war was all but over by 1918. So the United States wasn't involved um, for most of the war, but it played a lot, a large part, and you know, basically, probably tipped the scales on the Allied side. So the Allies win the war, and they have the Treaty of Versailles. We'll give some more details on in class on it, but it's real interesting what they did, and it really led to World War II. And then out of that, they formed something called the League of Nations, and what the League of Nations was supposed to do is prevent another world war from happening. Obviously, um, a little over 20 years later, we had uh, World War II, so uh, it didn't exactly prevent it. Okay. Like I said, we will have uh, some notes on World War II. Uh, I'll possibly add those later into our review. Make sure you study uh, these notes and really study what um, we said in this review as I'm talking. You also have a Quizlet. You have two Quizlets, I think, to help you study. Um, right here you have the Renaissance Quizlet and the World War II Quizlet. Um, both are you will be able to do we will do them both in class also please make sure most of what we will do will come from the quizlets and your ability to study I'm going to add some terms from our notes in here um, really from our notes if you go over what we've went through in this video you'll be just fine I'm not going to try to sneak anything in there so please go over your two quizlets I'm going to add some terms uh, make sure you check back periodically on this. Um, I'm going to add some terms to the World War II um, right here. Uh, but make sure you check back and study hard for our quiz. It's The test will be, quiz will be um, 20 to 25 to maybe 30 questions. So it'll be a little bigger one. Um, again, make sure you study. It will be Wednesday for both classes. Have a great day.